It's your go-to spot for all things NBA. And today we have some hot takes on the matchup between the Golden State Warriors and the Sacramento Kings. If you're a fan of intense basketball, you won't want to miss this. Let's dive right in to break down what's happening in Game 2. So, first off, the Warriors are facing the Kings tomorrow, and there's a lot of buzz about this matchup. It's expected to be a crucial game with both teams battling it out. The Warriors are coming in strong. One major advantage they have is Dot. They Dot the small ball lineup. We've seen how teams are adapting to the fast-paced, three-point heavy game, and the Warriors have mastered this. They're expected to utilize their small ball strategy once again, and this lineup has proven to be effective stretching the floor, allowing more movement, and of course, shooting those threes. Now, let's quickly shift gears. There's been a lot of chatter about other teams adopting small ball strategies too, and one team making waves is the New Orleans Pelicans. According to insider Sham Sharania, it seems like the Pelicans are also experimenting, especially with Herb Jones being a key player. For those of you who don't know, Herb Jones is 6 feet 7, and he's been a vital defensive player for them. Here's the catch if the Pelicans go small. With players like Jones taking on a bigger role in the lineup, they might be at a disadvantage against bigger teams. Will it work for them? That remains to be seen, but it's definitely something to keep an eye on. But back to the Warriors and Kings, this is where things get really interesting. The Warriors have their home court advantage, and everyone's talking about how their shooting has been on another level this season. The Kings, on the other hand, are dealing with a few challenges. Some of their key players are expected to miss the game, and that's where things might get tough for them. One area where the Warriors dominate is three-point shooting. With their array of sharpshooters, including the Splash Brothers, they have the upper hand in this matchup. The Kings, even at full strength, struggle to keep up with the Warriors' deep shooting, and without some key players, it could become an even bigger problem. With all that said, the general consensus right now is that the Warriors are heavily favored to take game two. But hey, anything can happen in basketball, right? Let me know in the comments if you think the Kings have a chance to pull off an upset tomorrow. Alright, ballers, that's it for today's breakdown of the Warriors vs. Kings game 2. Make sure to tune in tomorrow to catch all the action. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay locked in for all the latest NBA updates.